With what could be an extraordinary shift in a beach battle, the Coastal Commission may be rethinking a deal to allow wealthy landowners to limit access to their slice of California's shore. We've been reporting all week on several efforts to keep beaches out of reach. One of them is Quarta Canyon Beach near Santa Barbara. The Coastal Commission struck this deal with the wealthy landowners of Hollister Ranch to keep that beach accessible to the general public only by sea. Our own reporters, Devin Feely and Kit Doe, recently made the long and sometimes dangerous trip by kayak to get there. Well, today the Coastal Commission listened to a wave of complaints about the deal. Devin Feely at the meeting today, and Devin, they heard that frustration loud and clear, I guess. Yeah, they absolutely did. Now, oftentimes when you go to a public hearing of some kind of government agency, it seems that no matter how many people come out in opposition or support of a plan, that a decision has been made, the deal is already done. Well, the Coastal Commission has been flooded with angry emails and confronted by outspoken critics of this plan, and by the end of this meeting, seemed to be publicly questioning if they had made the right call. The access is unsafe. The beach that's offered is narrow. And this agreement provides the public no relief. It's a bad deal. It shouldn't go forward. Like waves crashing on the shore, they came. If you have enough money, if you're famous enough, if you're willing to fight it out long enough, uh, then you'll get your way. A rising angry tide of opposition to a controversial settlement with a group of wealthy landowners at Hollister Ranch, a sprawling seaside gated community that's managed for decades to bar the general public from accessing most of its eight and a half mile stretch of pristine beaches north of Santa Barbara. The proposed settlement would end a decades long legal battle and give the public access to Quarta Beach, but only by the sea, typically by boat or kayak, a flawed solution, critics say, which excludes most people. Access by boats and kayaks will not work for many people, certainly not me. Being a non-swimmer, Terrified of the water. Fellow KPIX reporter Kit Doe and I paddled the perilous six mile round trip from Gaviota State Park to Hollister Ranch in order to better understand the challenge and the dangers of reaching the beach in the way described in the settlement. Because even this is a wilderness environment, you know, where if someone gets hurt, you know, where's, where's the hospital? Where's the ambulance? There's no. While the public's response has been overwhelmingly negative, not everyone who attended today's Coastal Commission meeting opposed the deal. I've read what they talked about, how many days and hours they put into it, and because of that, I think it's a fair decision for both the public and uh, the property owners. Right now, all the deal needs is for a judge in Santa Barbara County to sign off on it. Yes, it's less than ideal settlement. Yes, the commission was between a rock and a hard spot. But after the public outcry, some members of the Coastal Commission seemed to have cold feet and were considering publicly backing out of the deal. I don't think that sounds like a good deal to me. Uh, and I wasn't aware of it. And I think that we should really take a pause and wonder whether or not we should go back to the drawing board on this. Now, undoing this deal may be more difficult than it seems. The Coastal Commission would have to find some way to vote before a judge potentially ratifies this deal in early September. In Santa Cruz, Devin Feely, KPIX 5.